Green Dutton from Allegos Network Center on now for some reports. Dutton. Thank you, Joseph. Governments of the United States and the United Kingdom have pledged to render more supports to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in the fight against abuse of illicit substances. Consul General of the United States in Lagos, Claire Prealangelo, and the British Deputy High Commissioner in Nigeria, Ben Lewellyn Jones, said that this while playing host to the agency's chairman, Brigadier General Buba Mara in Lagos, Abalade Salami reports. The zero tolerance approach to drug abuse enforced by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has resulted in massive seizures and arrest of suspects. In recognition of the great strides achieved in few months of leadership, the United Kingdom Embassy presented a patrol boat to the agency furtherance of the marine operations. The British Deputy High Commissioner Jones said the UK government is pleased with the series of illicit drugs seized by NDLE at the Maritola Mohammed International Airport, the Tinkan Seaport and Apapa Seaport. Hopefully the vessel will allow you uh, more capability, but it's just one aspect of what we're doing together along with our law enforcement colleagues, the multi-agency approach and all of the things we've been trying to do really to try and help Nigeria in this fight against illegal crime, which is so, so important to all of us. So the US Consul General Claire Parangaro said the US government would be willing to collaborate and give more support to the lead anti-drug agency in Nigeria in view of the dynamism and efficiency that have been brought into the operations of the agency. Meanwhile, the chairman on arrival at the Palace of the Oba of Lagos solicited the support of the monarch in the sensitization of individuals on the dangers associated with the drug abuse. Institution. And when a royal father speaks, people listen. It is with this in mind that I would like to invite His Royal Majesty the Oba of Lagos to add his royal voice on this campaign. In his response, Oba Keoli said he would use his global network to impact positively on Nigeria's fight against drug abuse and trafficking. Nobody in this right senses will go and do what should not be done. It's only under influence of drugs. And many of them, they did not know that it is not good. It's just copycats. The chairman at Ella paid visits to a rehabilitation center where he urged those present to stay strong. In Lagos, Abolade Salami, NTA News.